Hello friends, this video on matrices part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study matrices. We will define matrices and we will give you an intro on matrices. We will study types of matrices. We will study what are equal matrices. We will study some operational matrices such as subtraction, addition and multiplication. We will study transpose of matrices. And we will also study inverse of matrices. Please pardon the spelling. The spelling is wrong here. Multiplication. The first question that should come to your mind is why should we study matrices? Before even understanding the definition of matrices, the first question that comes to your mind is why should we study matrices? What will happen if we don't study matrices? What are those things which will miss in life if we don't study matrices? So let's proceed. Matrices are widely used in the field of science. So if you're planning to move into the field of science, matrices is a must for you. Matrices are used in the field of computers. Most of the addition subtractions which, we, which a computer does, they do in the form of matrices. Computer understand matrices form very well. That, that is one of the most critical use of matrices. Matrices are also used to develop sales chart. If you are in the plan, in the field of sales or management, then you need to draw the graphs where the, your company is going, such kind of things. For those things also, matrices is a must. If you want to perform operations on lines, for example, if you have line this, one more line this, you want to find the point where it meets or whether it meets or not, such kind of things you can easily find using matrices. You can find using equations also, you can have two equations with a line and find the common intersection point. But sometimes it is very easy using matrices. If you talk about the lines in three dimensional, if you talk about plane actually, you have one plane which has x, y, z coordinates, you have another plane and you want to find the intersection of the planes or the angle between the planes. Such kind of things you can do using matrices. Using matrices such things are very easy. You can very well, this also you can do by writing the equation of the plane and finding the common intersection point. But those things are a little complex. Using matrices, life is simple. So these were the practical application of matrices in our day to day life. Now, having understood the practical application of matrices in our day to day life, let's define what are matrices. You must be curious to know what are matrices. So let me introduce the term matrices. Matrices is nothing but a mode of representing data. It is nothing but a mode of representing data. Please note, it is nothing but mode of representing data. And the reason why we represent data in this fashion is because we want to ease our calculation. I'll give you an example. For example, you have Sita, you have Amit and let's suppose you have Gita. So there are three people, Sita, Amit and Gita. Now they have some orange now. Let's suppose Sita has five orange, four apple. Amit eats more and he has eight orange and nine apples. Gita is a tiny girl and she has only three orange and two apples. Now this data, what I have done is I have just drawn this, but if you want to represent this data, what we can do is we can represent in this fashion one box. In this box, I can say 5, 4, 8, 9, 3, 2. Here, this is nothing but orange. This is apple and this is Sita, Amit and Gita. We can also represent this data in the other way around form. 5, 4, I can write like this. 8, 9, I can write like this. And 3, 2, I can write like this. Here, if you see, then this will represent orange. This guy will represent apple. And this guy will represent C, uh, Sita, Amit and Gita. So if you see what I have done is, I have represented this data into two forms. This form is nothing called matrices. You just represented this data in this kind of fashion. It is nothing but 
a mode of representing data. So here this data which I had that is Sita had five orange, four apples, Amit had eight orange, nine apples, Geeta three orange and two apples. This data I represented in this fashion or this fashion. So these two fashion is nothing but metrics. So in the world of metrics, we have something called rows and columns. So we have rows and columns. So if you see what happens is horizontal is called rows. For example, in this case, we can draw three horizontal line. So we can say it has three rows. Correct? Three. One, two, three. In vertical, if you see, there are two vertical thing here. So there are two columns. Two columns. In this case, if you see, we have two horizontal data, right? Two set. So it has two row, but it has one, two, three. Three vertical data. So it has three columns. Please note horizontal is nothing but my row and vertical is nothing but my column. Okay. Everywhere we first take row and then take column. Row into column. So this guy if you want to represent this will be 3 cross 2. Why? 3 row, 2 column. This guy is nothing but 2 cross 3. Why? Because it has 2 rows and 3 columns. Just a memory tip. If you are confused between horizontal is uh, pointing to row and vertical is pointing to column, just remember this word. Her voice. Her sweet voice actually. I mean normally girls has sweet voice. You can say her voice. So in this her, it's horizontal, R stands for row. So we see this is nothing but horizontal, R stands for row, V is vertical and here C stands for column. So if you remember this uh, her voice, this uh, her sweet voice, you can say that horizontal is row. Vertical is column. Just a memory tip. If you can understand or if you can memorize just like that, if horizontal is row and vertical is column, then you don't need this step. You need this step only if you're confused between whether horizontal is column or vertical is row. In that case, you can remember this her, her voice. Horizontal means row, vertical means column. Correct? And always it is in the order. Row comes first, column comes second. Logically, also, if you see here, if you have a confused between R or C or C or R, right? I mean, if you're confused whether this is correct or this is correct. If you're confused in this case, in this case also I have a memory tip for you. The memory tip is, see, anywhere you first walk in this direction. Once you complete your exploration on this direction or on the plane, then only you go in this direction or this direction. Logically, human also, if you see, when a baby starts, the baby walks first on the ground. Once the baby walks on the ground, once he is very much accustomed to it and he walks perfectly, then he can fly in parachute or he can do bungee jumping. So those things we do later in life. The first thing that comes is you need to walk horizontally. Please note, no mathematical sense, just a memory tip. So since you have to walk first, so you have to take these values first. So there are three, so you wrote three here, and then you go up or down. So this is into two. In this case, you walk first, so you go to two sets, two, and then once you are done with your horizontal walking, then you start with up and down walking. Then this is three. Just a memory tip, but mathematically it's row into column. So once we have understood the non-mathematical definition of matrices, here we are saying that matrices is nothing but mode of representing data. One example I gave you was Sita, Amit and Geeta had few orange and apples. We wanted to represent it and we represented it in this fashion. One was this one and one was this. Both are actually matrices form. We can represent in either of these form. Also one thing we note was the horizontal 
uh, sets are called rows and the verticals are called columns. Memory tip I got gave you was her voice, horizontal means row, vertical means column. Also, if you are confused between this point, here it is R into C or C into R, you can just memorize that in this fashion that first you learn how to walk in the horizontal direction on the ground once you are done with and then you learn how to fly or do bungee jump. Correct? So, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.